What's up guys? It's your boy Boa, back with another video. <laughs> and today we're at the getaway cabin. This one is called Hokey. They got a lot of cabins here. And uh, this one is just the name Hokey. They have a lot of different names. So that's just one of the names. Hello. I see you. I see you. <laughs> mm. I see you. <laughs> so these cabins have been really popular lately. It's like uh, camping, but not like 100% camping. Because, you know, you do have this, this tiny cabin right here. You get a picnic table. They give you this uh, fireplace right here. So you can make your own barbecue or like, you know, just simple fireplace, relax. They do provide the um, firewood right here. All the firewood right here. This is, this is good enough for, I mean, we're, we're only staying for one night, but this is, this is way good enough for however you're gonna stay here. Let's see. Let's go and take a look inside. Oh, you fell down? I'm sorry. So guys, this is it. It's, it's, a, it's a very comfy mattress. It's like a memory foam, I think. Look at this. Yeah, you see that? Yeah, it's memory foam. I, you know what, I, the thing about here, I was worried that it would have some kind of like smell, but everything is new, everything's, I think this cabin is brand new, you see, everything's new. They give you all, everything you need for some coffee. Oh, what is this, extra olive oil? Olive oil? Mm. For cooking. Oh, for cooking, okay, okay, that's nice. You have can opener, you have steak knives, you have a scissor, you got a fire starter, you got tongs. So every, everything you need to like do some basic cooking. You got two, four. You got four nice uh, thermal cups right here. Okay, so this is the price right here. So you want s'mores, $5, coffee is $2, hot chocolate is $1, and the fire starter is $2. What's, what's the fire starter? Where's the fire starter, huh? I don't really understand that fire starter. I think it's the it's the wood. I think it might be the wood outside maybe. Hmm, I don't know. Let's see. Got some coffee, got some Oh shoot, it's it's mosquito repellent. Yeah. Okay, you definitely need this here. So if you didn't bring anything, you got almost everything you need right here. Got hot water. You definitely need to bring your own water because I wouldn't I wouldn't drink this water in here, right? You should bring your own water. So, you know, the refrigerator is, is a good size. Pretty pretty big, pretty decent. Very good size right here. It doesn't have anything in there. Uh, there's a little trash can right here. There's some towels, some bounty right here. So you don't need to buy your own bounty. There's like a replacement bag. And there's aluminum foil. Large, large roll of aluminum foil. So you want a barbecue, you want to cook something over the fire, you got, you got the foil. You got a big pot, you got a pan, one pan for, for eggs or stir fry. You got some plates, three plates. Three plates in a big bowl for salad or something like that. There's a cutting board. Uh, yeah, this looks good, looks good. What I like about this place, like th there's no smell. It's like brand new, it's like, it's great. You got two towels. You got two towels here, and then uh, the bathroom looks 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 great. Looks very clean. And this is the shower. It's good that they did this like stainless steel right here, so it looks always looks clean and everything. Easy to clean too. Let me see the water here. Okay. Just a regular shower. You're not gonna get like you know, you're not gonna get like a very powerful shower, but it's good enough. So that's it guys, that's, that's all I can show you about the, the cabin. I mean, it's not, not, not much to see, right? That's it. Let's see, let's go in here. 
So this is the security area. Okay. You got some security. But uh, I'm getting kind of hungry, so let's cook something to eat. How to book your trip. You can search Getaway Cabin on Google. I will provide the link in the descriptions also. First, search the location you want. Then select how many adults and the dates you want to stay. You can check different locations here in the US. The one we stayed was the Machi Moodis, which is the newer one. The drive is two hours from Boston two and a half hours from New York and 30 minutes from Hartford, Connecticut. You can also pick between one or two beds. There are many other cabins around the property, so don't be scared that you will be alone. You will probably have some neighbors. All right, before coming to the cabin, uh, I was worried that there wasn't like a supermarket around here. So we stopped by the supermarket called Big Y. It's about like 30 minutes, 30 minutes away from here. There was also a, a Walmart nearby too. So we, we went to two stops, went to uh, Walmart and we went to the supermarket. So what I got is uh, marshmallows, the crackers, the crackers and the Hershey's chocolate. Got some soup, clam chowder, some clam chowder, some sweet corn, and chicken noodle. So if I don't eat it, I could bring it home. I got some uh, burger seasoning, got some sea salt, I got some steak seasoning, A1. This is for the meats. This is some coffee, cold brew. Oh, I'm gonna I, I need some of this right now. I really needed that. I need that. I've been driving all morning. It took almost three hours to get here from Brooklyn, South Brooklyn. Uh, with traffic and everything, it's like three hours. Yeah. I got some organic eggs just for, um, just in case I feel like eating some eggs tomorrow morning. I got some eggs. Got some chicken nuggets for her, for the, for the baby. Then I got some uh, roasted garlic chicken sausage, right? And you know what's good about these? If you're buying these sausages, you want to look for fully cooked. I got some macaroni, mac and beef, pre-cooked. Just got to pop this in uh, stir fry on the pan a little bit, you know? Because you got meat, you need some carbs. Just got some, some carbs here. Carbs. I got four, four beef patties. Grass-fed, grass-fed beef patties. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. This cabin right here, the price on a weekday, it's like $200 a night. Yeah. But if you go throughout the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, those dates on the weekend, it's about like 300 to 400 a night. So keep that in mind when you're booking this place. It's gonna add up. Got some uh, thin, thin Angus steaks. Gonna cook this up right now. Um, the reason why I bought, I bought thin steaks because I don't know how well they're gonna cook on the fire. So if it, if it can't cook on a fire, I'm just gonna put it in a pan. That's it. Some pepper, some pepper. You, you need some hot sauce, right? So, so hot sauce, you can't go wrong with the Basco sauce. I forgot to show you this, this one. You need this. I wasn't sure that they were gonna have some cooking oil here, but they, they do have olive oil, but eh, just use this one, it's easier. And then after I use it, I can bring it home and use it at home. Got this thing here. Got this thing here. Look at this. <laughs> put the put the marshmallow here. Got the marshmallow. You know the marshmallow. Okay, right there. And then I got got it from Walmart. It's like logs, right? So it's like one one log in a pack. Um, I don't know how many logs in here, but I got some. Maybe six pieces? Six pieces for like, uh, I think it's like $10. Um, I don't know how I'd use it, but let's go out and try. I got this at Walmart, you know? I, I saw this, I gotta have it. 
I gotta have it because I, I hate mosquitoes. So this thing was like $20, right? $20, you, you put the blue thing in there, right here. And then inside they have a liquid. They got a liquid bottle, you put that liquid bottle in here. Close it, close it, and then you turn it on. Pop, push that, and then you can hear it. You can hear the gas, it's like it's working. The gas is going to this little blue thing right here, and then it's a anti anti mosquito. I don't know if it works, but hey, something is better than nothing. Just put it on the floor right here. Just put it on the floor because the mosquitoes gonna come in your in your cabin. Put it on the floor right there. So I'm so hungry. Let's cook something to eat. So I saw on YouTube to burn this fire right here, you gotta take some like small little twigs and uh, break the little twigs. And after you break the little twigs, then you can put it on top of the, the logs to make the fire burn easier, right? Get some, get some twigs. You gotta look for like the very dry, dry ones right here. Like that, a little small dry one like this. One, two. Hey. It doesn't work. Hey. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah, boy. We got fire. I got this right here. I got it from Amazon. I got it from Amazon. So you just. I saw, I saw another YouTuber do this, so that's why I got it. So you put your meat in, the meat like that. Sandwich the meat, close it. You could cook it like that. All right, let's try it out, let's try it out. Okay, let's go get some meat. I could do another one. Wow, fire, baby, look, you see? Wow. I don't know if it's gonna be strong enough to cook anything. So it's really hard to get, to get this burning. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to use this one, try to help it out. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. What the heck is this, poo poo? <laughs> Look at this big doo doo here. So, it says, without tearing, loosen paper around the log, log up the thing, and then light the arrow. Light the arrow, light here. Oh my God, I'm a dumbass. You're supposed to use this. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, it's burning, huh? Ah, hold on. Let me get let me get another one because we have a lot. We have a lot of fuel. Park this one. Yeah. It looks like it's working, guys. I finally got a big fire now. It's so windy today. I don't think I can cook something over the fire. Let's try anyway.
really messy, huh? That's an eagle. <laughs> she ran away. <laughs> she doesn't like it. Hey, it's s'mores. You go camping, you need this, huh? Cooking with the fire was a really bad idea. I highly don't recommend you cooking outside. Just uh, just cook everything on a pan, it's much easier. I, I tried to cook the, the burger outside with, with the fire, but it got burned and everything. I don't think it's a very good idea to use the fireplace to try to cook something. I think it's easier to just cook in here whatever you need to cook and um, just leave the fireplace to make it like marshmallows and you know it'll make your life a lot easier how the burger came out it's like the burger came out so so burnt <laughs> but it's still edible i mean it's not that like it's really burnt good thing i got a1 sauce eat like a steak right now So you have food that is like already like cooked already. All you gotta do is just heat it up. Got some pasta here. Mmm, good. So I highly suggest you just get some simple foods to cook. You could buy the pre-cooked food and just like use the pan, you know, to heat it up and uh, enjoy your meal. I seen people on YouTube and they were cooking on the, the fireplace and I don't know. I mean, I guess some people are really good. They, they can do that, but I'll fail. <laughs> I wanna get out of my head, be a little more nice. I wanna feel like all the kids run around the night. Yeah. Alright guys, it's time for dinner and uh, we got some sweet corn soup and then we got Angus steak cooked with the electronic grill. Oh, medium rare. Very nice. Very nice. Mm. Really good. <laughs> you wanna eat? Mm. You wanna eat? Daddy, can you see? Okay, here, try one. Mmm. <laughs> so that's about it, guys. Um, we only staying here for one night, and uh, we're gonna wake up early and get out of here. 11 o'clock in the morning, checkout time. So we probably have a quick breakfast, and then we'll head out. Um, so, yeah. At nighttime, you can't see anything. Like, if I open this around, it's like completely dark. Like, you won't see nothing. So, I see you guys in the morning.
This place is a good experience for couples that want a nice break away from the city. For me, I think one night is good enough. I really wish the cabin was bigger. After staying for one night, I realized that it was too small for my family of three. It's more suited for two people. The cabin and vicinity was well maintained and everything worked. The bathroom was clean with no bad smells. The shower water pressure was a little weak, but the hot water was there. Check-in time is around 3 p.m. So you have a few hours of daylight to enjoy some campfire and tree views. It is completely dark outside at night, so there's not much to do but stay in the cabin. The outside temperature during our stay was 50 to 60 degrees, and the cabin was pretty warm. Overall, our stay was pretty good, and I would return here if there was a bigger cabin more suitable for my family. That's all for this video. I hope you liked it. Subscribe if you want. See you in the next episode. Have a nice day.